Hello everybody. Joining with me today, we got a former UFC champion and a former Pride contender. He hails all the way from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Please give a warm welcome for Murillo Bustamante. Oh, hello Ken. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. How did you get involved into the martial arts? I got involved since I was a kid, you know, because of my oldest brothers. They took me to train jiu-jitsu in the Castle Gracie School, and I fell in love. When I started competing, it was awesome. I made my life of a jiu-jitsu journey, and jiu-jitsu changed my life for good. So since then, I have been involved with the martial arts, especially jiu-jitsu. What other types of martial arts have you studied? I have been training uh, judo wrestling, a little bit of Muay Thai. I, I became a professional fighter a long time ago. And since then, I have been fighting my whole life. So I, I, I retired 2012. Since then, I have been only concerning about teaching Jiu-Jitsu and spreading my experience for my association, for the, the you know, people in, in general that I attend my classes. What are some of your favorite fights from your career in both the UFC and Pride? My favorite fight, I have, you know, I have many good fights that I like it a lot, but the title match, I got a, a belt. It was a special fight because of everything involved. It was awesome. In UFC was the, the, the nicest moment for sure. I had a lot of good experience in Pride and, you know, and, and, and hard experience as well. The final of the Grand Prix was maybe the, the, the nicest moment. Every year, the Japanese people, they promote the competition and it's a big party, you know. In the end of the show, all fighters go to the ring to spend the, the New Year's Eve, so it's a spe very special time. So it was a very, very nice event, the, the nicest moment. As a pride. Also, in the time we got, I was going to ask you, how much do you know about autism? I know a little bit, not that much. I know the difficulties that people with autism have, but I don't know that much. So I, I saw a little bit of your videos and I, I saw that you were involved in martial arts and I believe it's, it's very good for you. Obrigado. So is there anything else you'd like to say in the time that we got? Anything that you feel... A lot of people find motivating. I believe that martial arts are very good for, for everybody. You know, I believe that doesn't matter if you're good or not, if you're tall or not, if you're fat or not, doesn't matter if you're old or young. So everybody that has a good direction on the mat, everybody that has a good coach, they will have a lot of fun on the mat. We're going to bring for their life a lot of benefits, discipline, respect, learn how to overcome the difficulties that you have on the mat and take it for your life. So the philosophy of martial arts is very important for the kids and, and teenagers especially. And guys like uh, Lyoto, Chinzo and, and Sensei Machida, they are very good examples. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time that we got today. Thank you, Murillo Bustamante, for taking your time out of your schedule to do this with me. It was such a pleasure being able to interview you, former UFC middleweight champion. And let's see where all things go from here. Obrigado. My pleasure. I wish you all the best. And send my regards to Chinzo.